Hi, Grandpa Bob. Hi. Well, this week at the Madison Library, we're going to be talking about animals that serve the community. For example, we're going to have a police dog at the library on Zoom. You're going to meet um, a woman who's blind and trained seeing eye dogs. Blind and trained seeing eye dogs. She does. She's Good. an amazing woman. She's done programs for the library before. Then I have a video of a woman who used to bring her therapy dog to our Pause to Read program, and she's going to teach us how to use a clicker and positive reinforcement to train your dog. Right, so you That's on Facebook. When you say therapy dog, is that a dog that's had therapy? <laughs> Not exactly. Maybe the video will help you, Grandpa Bob. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> well, you know, we have helpers in our community too, like our doctors and our nurses and um, policemen and on and on. Wouldn't it be nice to do something kind for them? That's a great idea. Yeah, that's I think, a, I think we all ought to do something nice for them. Well, I have an easy way that you can do something kind for them with appreciation bags. And in these appreciation bags, you can put uh, food or candy or um, lotions or just anything you think that they might like. I think they might like candy. Yeah. <laughs> you want an appreciation <laughs> bag, don't you? <laughs> well, let me give you some examples. I have made up these little cards like this. This one says, you are terrific. And I'd put tea in an appreciation bag for them with this taped on it. Another one says, Having you for a teacher makes me jolly. And I put some Jolly Ranchers in there. Now, in these appreciation bags, I have all kinds of cards made up and ideas for you. And you can email me at b, b o w e n, at ncls.ms, and I'll send you the template with all of these cards on it to make it easier for you to go and give something to um, a community person. Well, Grandpa Bob, what do you think? I think it's a great idea. I, I can't wait to see the, the bags when you get them put together. You know what, Grandpa Bob? We were meant to be together. Oh, isn't that <laughs> nice? Oh, yeah. And I am really popping with excitement you're, about this video. You're popping. It's, it's popcorn. It's popcorn. And you're popping with excitement. I am. Well, I'll tell you, your videos and your programs fill me with joy. Oh. So, <laughs> If I had a bag with a little joy in it, that wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. That would make me feel good. <laughs> That's right. Well, maybe we can do that for the people in the community around us. But just don't forget, the fathers and mothers are also people who serve and help others. And uh, it wouldn't hurt every now and then to give them a little bag, an appreciation bag. And grandfathers, too. Uh, I was hoping to say that. <laughs> well, we better get started so they can get busy. All right. Grandpa Bob has left, but if you watch to the end, you're going to see him get his own appreciation bag. I think he deserves it. Let's do something kind for the workers in the medical field, like our doctors and nurses. I'll show you how to make a meaningful treat bag like this one. And with a simple change of the tag, you've got a treat bag for our police officers too. Just change around the things inside and you can make it for anybody in the community. For the doctor or nurse's bag, I started with a card that says the patients are in good hands with you. Next, I got a small bottle of hand lotion, a nail file, some lip balm, some mints, 100 grand, or what used to be called a $100,000 bar. I think they're worth it. A Reese's fast break might be just what they need on a busy day. How about a little something extra with some extra chewing gum? I filled the rest of the treat bag with some Hershey's Hugs. I thought that would be very important. Let's put it all together. Now we just need to load up our bag. I taped the card that I made onto the bag and I just started putting everything into it. To finish it off, I dumped a lot of those Hershey's Hugs into the bag. They can't have too many hugs. I folded up some tissue paper and put it in the bag. Doesn't it look good? I hope it will brighten someone's day. Here's my finished bag for the police department. We can't forget about our wonderful teachers. Let's do some special treats for them. We can put some clever notes on some candy. On these Jolly Ranchers, have a note that says, having you for a teacher makes me jolly. 
Here's some green tea for your terrific teacher. Our note says you are terrific. Everyone loves a good Milky Way bar. Let's put a note with it that says you're the best in the galaxy. Popcorn is a filling snack when a teacher needs a break. Our note says I'm popping with excitement that you will be my teacher. York peppermint patties are delicious mints. You and your teacher were meant to be together. Here's an almond joy. This note says I'm jumping for joy to be in your class. A little smart food brightens up any day. So does an extra payday. Fill your teacher's bag with hugs and he or she will have a great year. Those are lots of ideas that we can do to help people in the community. I want to encourage others and I want to help you to do this project. If you would like a copy of any of these cards used in this project, just email me at b b o w e n at mcls.ms and I'll send them to you. Let's go make a difference in the community. Grandpa Bob, yeah. I can't tell you how many times people come up to me and tell me how much they love you and your stories. <laughs> And I think that they would love to give you a bag of these. A bag of what? Open it and see. Let me see. Hugs. <laughs> a whole bag of hugs for me. And on behalf of everybody. Mwah. Mwah. I love you. Love you too. That's the best hug of all. Mm -hmm.